Hey, buddy. Yes, it's me. I was always on the other side. You do know that, right? <laughs> I think you're manifesting a miracle. But you're doing it all wrong. Some are right, some are wrong. Because that star, not the best star to manifest what you're doing. I do have something that can help you. It's already here. Because since I'm always around you and I figured you're going to need this. Okay. Here. Okay. Here, buddy. There. Take it. Okay. So I'm going to enumerate one by one. You have there larvae kite, amethyst, citrine, ruby, and rainbow moonstone. All this would be helpful for you to manifest a miracle. One thing for sure is something's burning, and that's that one. And then the next thing that you're going to get is something that is not so good with that star. I'm going to go before something comes up. Okay, bye. Hi Aquarius, welcome to Cosmetology. If you are here, um, the first part of this um, of this edition, it's at e Treat Love Inc. And if you're here, you're gonna be a Aqua Rising and Aqua Moon. Okay. Now that that is established, the, the bigger energy was discussed in e Treat Love Inc. Here we're gonna discuss and how it affects you. We good, Aqua? Okay. So Aqua, we have Sun and Mercury right here. In February, at February 19, it's your birthday month. It's your birthday season, okay? Which is good, okay? Now, we're doing Vedic ideal, just so that you guys don't confuse. Now, Sun and Mercury over here, and you have here happening in your sixth house. Now, how is this going to affect you this moon? Sixth house is health. Six houses is losses. Six houses is enemies. Twelve houses is hidden enemies. Six houses is enemies. People just against you, okay? And you have your sun. You might, this is, can be good and bad because it's in your six. You will see now everything into reality. Everything. The liars, the lovers. That's what I would call this. The liars and the lovers being shown to you. And you will talk about it. And you will not stop. And you will take action. Mercury is about the choices in life. The sun is there. It's calling for you to take action. Wow, you're the only zodiac that is asked to take action. None of the zodiac was, didn't get any action. It's, oh, because it's your birthday. It's the sun is in your side. And remember, the sun is a soul. So wherever you are at, okay, you're centered yourself. You connect with yourself first, of course, and then you take action, okay? With your health though, with your health. So I'm very specific, with the health. Um, meaning it's like this is the time you know how when your birthday comes and you're gonna say it's like this is the time I'm gonna do this This is the time I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a specific diet eating healthy exercise yoga Pilates um, Crossfit all this 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 soul cycling this is that time you're before you you felt probably you couldn't because Rahu is in there It's like you probably have experienced a little bit trouble with health or you, you're probably trying to realize like, what's wrong with my body? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? There's nothing wrong Okay, Rahu is there. That's something wrong. Okay, so wait for this to shift in March, um, you know, as uh, Rahu and Kate to move. And but right now you're already seeing the joy, seeing the enlightenment. I feel like you're the only uh, zodiac that will have a good effect with this full moon. Okay, it's time to take action. That's good. Okay, so thank you very much, Aqua, for watching. Um, hopefully, there's more of this. We will try, but we will never promise. I'll see you again. Bye.